What's up guys, Audrey here of Cinemoff.com. I'm about to leave for vacation, but first, before I leave, I wanted to show you a custom project between Patrick Stoneberger, or Seth Stoneberger, and myself. So, you know Seth, he does these amazing custom stands. You can check out the review on these um, Pedro stands on my channel if you want to. And we decided to do a little custom project for uh, my Iron Man display. And let's have a look here. So I'm quite proud on this uh, Tony Mactes figure. I really like the style and um, there's a, this huge base coming with the figure and I thought why not to put all the helmets around the figure to have a cool display. So let's have a look. Now that's an amazing display now. So Patrick helped me out and we did this little custom project on this huge dynamic base of Hot Toys custom piece stand for Iron Man helmets. So follow me through this video tour on this piece and yeah, don't forget to get in contact with Patrick. He definitely can help you out on such custom projects. All right, here's just the base. As you can see, it's like this triangular shape that you know from the dynamic um, bases of Hot Toys. And we actually had to calculate the angle um, that he needed to cut or to, to form on these uh, plastic pieces. And let's have a closer look. So here's a new method on how he connects these actual stands with the bases. So there's an, a new um, melting technology or tool that he uses, like a welder or something like this. So you don't have the fogging problem anymore that he had to use um, sometimes on the earlier stands. So that's quite amazing. So they really look perfect and clean now. I've no idea if the camera can pick it up because it has some problems to control the focus. But all in all, I'm really, really happy on this piece. All right, so first close up here on different helmets. As you can see, Iron Patriot, the War Machine, Mark IV or Mark VI, I'm not so sure. This is, of course, Civil Centurion. I definitely like that one the most. Also, the Mark II is quite amazing. And here's the custom helmet. Um, basically, if you order something like this, it's always a custom job for Patrick and he will ask you how to have the height of these stands and you can have it like this for the Predator stands or a bit lower to have like uh, this display option to, some f uh, to somehow post the figure be behind it. But that's definitely amazing, amazing work here. So you probably have seen that there are different heights of the helmets and that's of course because every Iron Man helmet has a different interior design and basically you get these um, plyo caps or something like this he will also deliver something like this for um, your custom project and depending on the head sculpt or the helmet sculpt you have quite an easy uh, work to place these helmets here and um, if you have like a more narrow piece or a bigger piece you can work it out with some blue tech like this one here so it's probably quite useful to get uh, all the helmets aligned on the same height. Let's have a look on this one. This is quite a big one, but they will s stay and rest nicely on the custom stands. So that's definitely a nice way to display your different helmet pieces. And I can't imagine all the other variants to go and how to present those cool helmets in front of your figures. All right, here, as you can see, just a clean look on the base with the custom piece. And as I said, we had to do a bit of calculations here because I had to, because Patrick was in the United States, I'm here in Europe, and he had no idea how this base is looking because he didn't own one. So basically I had to tell him the, the angle here on these corners and on the other corner, and of course the length of these different um, side pieces. And we almost got it right. It's not 100% perfect, but I'm sure he will deliver a more perfect one to you guys because I will give him some feedback on to how to adjust the angle here but basically if you move it a bit on the front nobody will even notice a bit of gap on the side pieces also here on the length we could do a bit a bit more lengthy piece but all in all I'm really really happy and how it turned out all right, guys, just a little show off of my custom project with Patrick. Thank you, Patrick, for this amazing work and your 
passion that you put into this hobby and this community service you're doing. So I'm really appreciating this and yeah, I mean, just get in contact with him. He will probably fulfill and meet all your requirements and goals. And he's really a nice guy. So just talk to him. I will link his uh, Facebook infos in the description. Um, yeah, basically one final look. As you can see, you have to align a bit with the helmets. And on these spell damage pieces, you almost have no interior. So here you definitely have to use some blue tech to get them steady and stable. And I mean, if I can think of one extension on this custom setup, it would probably be to have something like a LED bottom that shines through the stands and comes through the, the light comes through the eyes of the helmets. That would have, would have been extremely, extremely cool. Okay guys, so thanks for watching, I will see you in two weeks and have a good evening. Bye bye guys.